I'm Andrea Cabecinhas and I'm the head of data for e-commerce. So customers don't just expect personalization, they demand it and they as very easily go away and try different places if retailers get it wrong. Online retailers can get personalization wrong if they are using the wrong data or the, they are using data the wrong way to really take conclusions out of something that is not significant, for example. We, we typically see four main missions of customers. Sometimes they want just to, for us to help them save time and personalization can definitely help with that because it can show them the things that they really care about very quickly and on top. Uh, they might be just in a mode that they, please help me not forget something. And uh, again, personalization can help because we can show you the right things that you want next that you might not have forgotten to add. Customers might want inspiration as well, and this is again where personalization can help because I think that there's, there's so many products out there that it might be overwhelming. And uh, if we can really push up or show first customers the products that uh, they are more likely to buy, they, then we can inspire them. And then finally, but, but not finally, uh, we can help customers achieve their goals. So for example, if they are vegetarian or if they are uh, wor worrying in, about the environment, we can really help them achieve their goals by just, for example, changing uh, the order of the products or sending different uh, vouchers based on these uh, goals. And it can also help create this close relationship with the retailer, with the customer, when, where the customer feels like, actually, they know me, they know what I like. And um, this creates more engaged customers, more loyal case to customers, and customers just continue shopping with us. So we can, for example, learn from uh, some retailers what algorithms or models have worked best uh, for, for their, uh, their uh, data, and we can reuse the same, the, the best algorithms for other retailers instead of having to try all sorts of models. So that's one example, so actually, transferring the learnings and what works best on one into another and still keeping everything like the whole data separate.